Hello, welcome back to Druid's Downtown. I'm joined by Lewis and Duncan for some more Minecraft mayhem. Hello. How's it going, guys? Real good, real I good. What are you up to? Cracked open the meteor. Oh, yeah. Like uh, an egg sizzling in the pan. And down here in this Skystone chest is one inscriber calculation press and a Skystone block. Only oh, one no press. Way. That's a bit unlucky, mate. I know, I know. Oh, However, I will go on the quest for more meteors and I will find them. I uh, scan the map and I notice some impact sites, so I should be able to, if I can get out of this hole that I've dug for myself, Yeah. Um, find a way. Oh, crap, I can't remember the way out. Oh, you noticed no. some impact oh, generally. sites. Extremely up. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, that's what I... Because, yeah, because Lewis... Because getting, getting to all the sites is going to be tricky, so you went around and, and put down some waypoints for where you found sites, right, that's on right, the compass. Yeah. Ah, I see. That it's fine. Sense. Makes sense. Um, well, no, after after ah. the sessions, we always kind of do a bit of building, you know, a bit, bit of the odd bits here and there, just to get it get it over with. It's shiny, everybody. So, yeah, I flagged up a meteor that fell in this direction, 500 meters that way. Now, they might be underground, they might not. I don't know. Can meteorites so, land, like, once the game's generated no. all the meteorites? No. So you don't risk being hit by a meteorite just by being outside? Uh, the other thing people were saying is if I hit F9, I think it's or F8 or something like that, one of the F keys, is it F9? Yeah, it is F9. It brings up like the chunk boundaries. So when your meteor thing is spinning around, your meteor detector, oh, sugar. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was using the glider, then I forgot. Um, <laughs> it sh I should be able to like just identify which chunk it's in, so that will help me dig around to find it. Right, mm. uh, that's that's kind of useful. It is kind of useful. Every time it? we come back to a session, I always forget where I was. I Between I these, I built like the Trans Siberian Railway. I, I made a start on it at least, so most of the frameworks down. Check it out. So I, ju I just oh! flew over this area. Check it like out. An Incan temple and a meteor. Or is that actually even a meteor? I think this is this. I think this is a meteor. It's a meteor. Oh, it looks like a meteor, but there's there's other things that sometimes spawn in this this world. So this is what this is something which is spawned with loads of soul sand, obsidian. Ooh. Oh, I screenshot it by accident. Is it a specific biome? No. So what's this here, Duncan? Do you know what this is? Well, I can't see. So it's no. like a nethery hole. It's got some <laughs> flaming netherrack in it. It's got some soul sand and random ores sort of in it. What's this ore here? Iron ore. Oh, and I don't know what you're talking ore. about, I'll be honest. It's like burning chocobos. No! Does it, does what it color familiar are they? in any way to you, this? We're not, we're not sleeping anymore, Shin. Oh, no, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> By what? <laughs> By the, the night. <laughs> I went to sleep and it was like instant. <laughs> we're, we're already cheating, it's fine. So, sorry, Shin, you've been working on the Trans Siberian. Go on, tell us about that. Uh, it's it's in place, like because we're going to have a railway that connects mine and Lewis's cribs, but uh, it's going to take a long ours time. Ours and Lewis's. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, technically mine because yours is attached to mine, which is attached to the railway. So, like, well, yeah. can we not put the railway in the middle? Well, all right, we'll bring it. We'll bring it closer. We'll put it in between the two. Come on, let's build it. Build it over here. Yeah, yeah. We'll build a big station. It'll be awesome. Uh, right. Sure. We can call right. it. Uh, what's the, your place called? Nova Scotia. Uh, Nova Scoville. Nova, Nova Scoville. Uh, Nova Scotia is a real Temple place. Meads. Temple Meads. Temple Meads. <laughs> We're not going to call the station Temple Meads, thank you. <laughs> but it will feel like home. That's a, that's a train station here in Bristol, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Who doesn't know that? Who doesn't know that the Bristol train station? A lot of people aren't English, Duncan. And even even if I was English, ah. I wouldn't know what it was called. So okay, my meet. There is a meteor here near to this thing. Uh, it is in this chunk. So if I hit F9 a few times, I have a boundary. So I know I need to dig somewhere in this boundary. This is this means this could be. I could be here for a while, guys. <laughs> See you next uh, year. Those oh uh, they're quite hard to find. Those um, these meteorites. Yeah, they're a big pain. I know, but I could just dig. Like if I just dig an enormous hole in the ground here, I will yeah. find it eventually. Right? Get a hammer, mash it up, mash, 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 mash. Mesh, yeah. mesh, mesh, I mean, mesh, it's mesh. big. The meteor is big. Mesh, mesh, mesh. <laughs> mesh, mesh, mesh. Mesh, 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 mesh. <laughs> so oh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just dig a great big hole straight down and hope for the best. Oh, it's like a cavern down here anyway. 
Oh. So, what was I doing? I was building... I built the smeltery for the steel. And yeah. I built the pipe to send the stuff into it. Yeah. So now I'm just building a system to pump out the ingots. Yeah. And then we got infinite source of steel. Yeah. Yeah! Nice. Infinite steel. Yeah! Yeah, yeah man! That sounds pretty I fantastic. I do need to move these pipes, though, because that's where the redstone clock is going to go. I'm still mm. trying to make a crossbow. But when I do, it's going to be a pretty badass crossbow, actually. So, looking Ooh. forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh. I need to be careful not to run myself out of fuel in this hole. Don't do that! It could be bad. That'll be bad! All right, I'll just dig straight down and hope for the best. Yeah, sure. We'll see what's down here. So, so Duncan, what are you doing? You're making, like, infinite steel. Yeah, so I've got two clocks now and two basins, which right. I'm going to turn into casting tables. And um, that way, the thing will pipe in ingots, uh, pipe in ores, smelt them, and then pump out steel. Sweet. Because oh, what do we need to make the, oh, the railway to the Trans-Siberian? I think I assume lots of steel. <laughs> Otherwise, this is a waste of time. It's like an abandoned mine shaft down here as well, guys. <laughs> oh, the game's closed. That happened. Oh, gold, guys! I found gold ore. <laughs> I can type in gold and I get gold lists. Well, listen, guys. <laughs> Some of us are preferring to play this fun mode. Gold yeah. and silver. Now, you don't tend to in real world. You don't find gold and silver together. No. No. Gold and silver are different elemental weights, quite substantially, and they don't actually tend to be clumped together. You tend to find stuff of similar elemental weights together um, just because, well, I don't know why. It's to do with the fusion in a, in a supernova, I guess. But uh, Ethics and game journalism. That's, that's right. It's weird how it keeps going. It's yeah, you don't typically dark. find uh, Mountain Dew and Doritos in the same... Same Elemental location. sector. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> when the stars align, you do see them. Together. God, it's really raining. Oh, have I... Has there, someone made it? Oh, I've got a handful of worms, guys. What's that for? Mm. What's, wor what's worms used for? What's the eat mod? Them. What does it say the mod is? You can eat them. Thermal recycling. Eat I think them. it's used to recycle things. I can make fertile land with it, guys. Mm. You can recycle dirt. Can I eat them? You can eat them. You can always eat worms. Worms are a great source of Can't eat them. vitamin G. Yeah? Yeah. God, I didn't know any other sources of vitamin G. So have I been missing out on vitamin G all my life? Yeah. I was I was I was born with I think uh, I might be vitamin G deficient. I think yeah, you were you you were, you were definitely deficient of vitamin G. Mm. It's pr it's it's present in a lot of gangsters actually. Yeah? It's, it's called the gangster vitamin. So it's what makes um two pack, two pack and 50 cent, 50 cent, I think. Right. That does make sense now you mention it. Doesn't make that much sense. I can hear someone opening chests down here in this flipping horrible dungeon. Who is it? Whoa! Maybe it's Simon! There's a skeleton. <laughs> oh my god. A ah! skeleton opening chests. They, they don't do is it that. A skeleton thief. That would suck. It would really suck if monsters stole loot at chests and. Yeah. Actually, not should add. When was the last time they added a monster? To Minecraft. Uh, guess the end of Dragon, maybe. They should add something that goes in your chest and just takes stuff. And I can definitely hear chest opening down here. <laughs> it would not be annoying at all. It's creeping me That'd out. It'd be funny, guys. it'd be funny. You can kill him and you get stuff back. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Lewis is having some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you right? I'm fine, I'm doing all right. It's just, it's a bit... <sighs> it's a bit stressful down here, that's so... Oh, an essence berry bush. These are good, aren't they? You can get get delicious essence from them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, concentrated essence. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm killing creepers by the dozen. <laughs> How many of them are there? What are you up to over at Oil Town? Like, what's your next project? Because you've got oil now, and you're, you're making it into petrol. I'm getting computer, Shin. You're getting computers. Oh, it's a bone knight! It's going to kill me. I'm dead. I'm rip, rip. Oh. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Shit. Slain by a bone knight. Well, I was some way away from my base anyway, so I, and I needed to bring back all of the stuff that I've collected. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot you don't have keep inventory. Oh, crap, I've moved everything to my new base. I didn't set up my new refinery. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, crud. Is this all still working, though, this setup? I guess maybe. 
Let's see if I can put some iron in there. I guess it's all still working. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll set it all off to refine, and then I'll I'll um, I'll go back because I did have I did collect a whole load of. I can't help myself. Okay, if I am mining and looking for something down there, I can't help it. If I see gold ore, I have to have it. It's it's I don't know. I'm like a little kind of it. no. It's one of those ores, like the certain ores that you've been conditioned because we've played Minecraft for years now. But gold is not one of those ores because yes, it's it worthless. No, it's it's but it's rare. It's rare. It's That's pretty it. rare That's in this pack. I haven't seen a lot of it. Some you know? things it's not use used gold. For anything. Some, no, some things do use gold. Especially though. vanilla. Like some things really do use lots of gold. Mm. Like um, jewelries. Jewelers, in... jewelers, and um, yeah. Thorncraft. Thorncraft uses a lot of gold. Mm. Thorncraft uses loads of gold actually, and Goldcraft, Goldcraft. Um, uses almost exclusively gold. I I would play a mod called Goldcraft. Goldcraft. <laughs> yeah, what you do is you, you, yeah you you become a goldsmith and you make just chains, really cool. different chains that have different enchantments on them, and the more chains you wear. <laughs> Blinkcraft. <laughs> Blinkcraft. <laughs> that probably exists, right? Blinkcraft. I don't know. <laughs> Who was it? It was either Duncan or Sips that one day just said to me, oh, I, found a, I found a Minecraft mod where you can smoke drugs. Can we that do, was Sips. Can we do I like, think that was definitely Sips. Yeah. yeah. Can we do a spotlight on the on the weed mod? <laughs> oh, Minecraft. <laughs> That's the, the first video I ever made was the acid trip mod. Oh, yeah. Of oh, course. Oh, swampy. 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 Yeah. That, oh, was that was a terrible video. <laughs> it was great. I got Simon to voice would, that swampy. Would, would you have made it again? No. Yeah. Tomorrow. Definitely. No. Definitely. <laughs> you wouldn't. It's basically you wouldn't a, do that. It's basically a mod spotlight. Mod spot. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, but yeah, it was, true. It was true. also set in the world of Shadow Rizfell, which was very popular at the time. And was it? <laughs> <laughs> you may or may not know. Never heard of it. Shadow of what, Rafael? Exactly. So, oh wait, no, hang on a second. I heard, I heard the other day that there's a music video coming out for Shadow of Israel. There's not. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> did you hear that? Uh, apparently Lewis said so on the live stream. <laughs> no, Terp said so on the live stream. Was it a joke that people took so, literally? I, people, <laughs> uh, by the way, I was reading comments, and Drew, people did say that there was a meteor uh, that I went past in episode like five or whatever, a long, long time ago, Keep back in the days. And it's actually over here in the desert, and so I'm gonna go and see if I can grab this one. In Having a glider, desert, Duncan, has, has revolutionised my life. Glider plus jetpack equals flying. It's so chilled having mm. a glider. I didn't realise how chilled it was until now. I know it's the best, isn't it? Hmm. Could never live without one. See, look, this is a fantastic meteor. It looks like it's chock full of chock full of, of delicious um, calculation, calculation presses. Presses. Well, hopefully not calculation presses because you've already got that one. But oh yeah, I don't want that one. The other ones. Chock full of everything but calculation, calculation presses. presses. Now I need to make sure, first of all, I'm digging in the middle. Okay. So I guess it's this one here. Oh, that's right, and it takes like 20 years. All right, well, I'll see you in 20 years. I'll Bye, come everyone. Back to you. Bye, everybody. George Dantan. <laughs>